Mr. Marston, I see art has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Wonderful! Let's put the star into his first scene. Right over here. You can put him down here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, this looks like a train. Movie making history, my friends. Good jam. Out. There you go, my man. Out. There we are. And ready, ready, ready. I see you. You're going to be stars. Do something interesting now. Ah! And action! Zombies, go! Oh, your hands are eat human flesh. Close to flesh, right? That's right. Oh! oh. Satisfied customer, Mr. West Dickens. Oh, hello, John. Yeah, poor fellow can't get enough. As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together. No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Thank you, dear boy. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, did you get the stuff? Of course. Oh, excellent. Oh, wait just a minute. <laughs> Yes, it is. Ah, here you go. Now, these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. <laughs> and if you've got your sums wrong? Oh, ye of little faith. Now, listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan. <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah, well. Excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're, we're old friends. I know. <laughs> you better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> 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 I just hope I...
Where's Dickens? Uh, Nigel! Where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. Under here! <laughs> Get out here. Are you alone? No. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything. Or stolen anything. Or even lied. That much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No! They want to hang me! Me! An honest salesman! Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there. Not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh. Did you, uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Ah, oh, ha, ha, excellent. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't... Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there. Ah, see, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. <laughs> Would I lie to you, John? <laughs> uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. <sighs> but to you, never, dear boy. Now, uh, oh, 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 wait, 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 oh, 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 ah, yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> In a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Worried sick. God help. Thank God you came along. What were you doing out here by yourself? There ain't no food out here but us right now, miss. We should stay where it's safe. Climb on. Let's get you home. Is there Man, no that one almost got me. Son, they've got the infection. That's terrible. Do you think there's a cure? I sure hope so. Otherwise, 
Well, I don't want to think about the otherwise. Yeah. Did you see them clawing at the house like a pack of wolves? It was like they could smell me in there. No offense, miss, but they could. It's horrific. Are they alive or dead? Somewhere in between, I reckon. It's some kind of punishment for our sins, isn't it? It's a curse. My pa warned me, but I didn't listen. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? I, I kissed him. Lord have mercy. Whoa. Here we are. I can't seem to get away from this place. <laughs> like I said, thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. Ah, Mr. Marston. What's going on? You got a passage into Mexico? Uh, for me, no. Uh, but for you, maybe. Uh, it all depends on your relationship with good old Uncle Samuel. What are you talking about? Well, uh, the border is indeed closed. But the army is sending a train down there. Now, whether it's to help the Mexicans there or to escape the problems here, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I thought things were better in Mexico. Yeah, well, uh, better or worse, it's uh, certainly different. <laughs> so why am I going and not you? Ah, well, that's a matter of age, dear boy. The army don't have many recruits with quite my level of experience. <laughs> so... So, you are on your own. <laughs> There's a train at uh, Benedict Point, and it's leaving soon once they've got all of the soldiers rounded up. Okay. And uh, your venerable friend here has done some more help. I have found some less than happy campers who have given up on glory and abandoned Uncle Sam's ranks. Uh, they're hiding out at Scratching Post. One of them might give you a uniform. <laughs> okay. What about you? Ah! Baghdad, dear boy! <laughs> well, either that, or Fort Mercer, or perhaps it's time to meet my maker with drool coming out of my mouth and a lust for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. I always do, dear boy.
They came out of nowhere. Anytime, partner. Say, you fellas have a spare uniform? What the hell for? My family's in trouble and I need to get over the border. I hear there's an army train going that way. Sure, what do I care anymore? <laughs> you earned it. There should be one in the chest by the tent. Help yourself. Son of a bitch! Thanks. I feel like such a noble patriot. Come on. Best of luck to you. Stay safe. Come on. Come on. You did real good, soldier. Basic training was very thorough. Well, that's good. These degenerates are only good at horn and drinking. Let's roll out! Stay alert, man! These Mongols are everywhere! This train headed for Mexico? God willing. What's the army going there for? Officially, to help our Latin brethren in their time of need. Unofficially, to get the hell out of here before things get even worse. See what we can steal down there. Always one step ahead, ain't we? They're still coming!
All right, every one of you clowns, get down and get the debris off the track. Let's go, let's go! Come on, soldier, move, move! All right, make Uncle Sam proud, soldiers, come on. Clear the tracks, quickly, let's go! Mexico. Come on. 